Welcome back, Stas23 here, back with some knife therapy, and uh, yeah, Blade Show, I'm leaving tomorrow, so this is probably the, the last time I'll be able to do a forward-facing video, so if you happen to see this ugly mug, or you hear me, and you recognize the voice, come say hello, I can't tell you how much that means to me, I uh, love meeting you guys and girls, don't, don't be afraid to come say hey, I, you know, as long as I'm not, don't interrupt me, of course, I wouldn't want anybody to interrupt anybody, so... Um, I, even if you do, I probably wouldn't get mad. I love meeting you guys and girls. And, uh, yeah, it should be a great show. If, you, if this is your first year, whoo, it's a lot of fun. It's very overwhelming. It wears you out, but uh, it's still a blast. So today I got something very special to show y'all. If you like EDC Fixed Blades, you definitely want to check this out. I'm very, very excited. Let's pan on down and check it out. Welcome back and today I have two awesome EDC fixed blades to share with y'all. I'm very very excited about it and as you can see it's coming from Griffin Company or you may know them as Combat Beads. Uh, they've made this driver. Uh, absolutely love this thing. They make some high quality products like uh, this bad boy we'll talk about in just a second. And here's the card. Keith Griffin the owner. And you can check them out here at combatbeads.com. You can also find them usually if you type in Griffin Co. Um, so I learned about them uh, probably whenever they started. They first started out as Combat Beads making some sweet beads. And then they evolved into um, drivers and fixed blades. And now they have a they had a pre-order on a folder that I missed out on. But I'll try to hit the next run. So, if you didn't see this on the channel uh, a good while back, uh, this right here is the uh, Griffin Co. Where is it? Yeah, Griffin Co. Scout 2.5, and this right here is a perfect, perfect EDC fixed blade size. Super comfortable, perfect jimping. Pretty sure the OEM on this is Best Tech Knives, and they do a very, very good job with their fit and finish. S35 VN. Now, <laughs> the, there was only two things that I didn't love about the knife, and it, it, they were addressed. So, the one thing that I kind of had to uh, worry about is this dark stone wash. It's a dark blasted finish. And now, S35 VN is pretty corrosion resistant, so I haven't had any issues yet with it. But with the dark blast like that, it opens up steel for corrosion. So, that was one thing that I would have liked to see different. And the next thing is on my EDC fixed blades, I much rather a taco fold over uh, sheath just because it's more compact. When you do the two piece sheath like this, it takes up more room. Like say when I'm putting it on my belt, <clears throat> I, lately I've been uh, carrying it with a static line lap, uh, hooked to my belt loop and inside the waistband. Just trying that out, seeing how I like it. But uh, I've carried this one a good bit and we got something new to show y'all <clears throat> now the only reason i didn't do a full review on this one or i might have but I, it's not one that i like to push because they were out of stock you know i don't like to do videos on knives that are out of stock because it's like saying haha i got one you can't and i never want to do that you know sometimes i i, I like to show y'all at least just so you get some eye candy but these are coming back and they're coming back even better. So let's check out, we have a brand new one. This is, I think a prototype and this is the brand new Scout 2.5. As you can see, let's bring this one back out. Let's, as you can see, they did the fold over and you can see the difference. Look at, look at the size difference from the fold over and the two piece construction. This is way more compact, and I, I like it compact like this because of uh, clipping it to the pocket. When you clip it to the pocket, this makes it way more manageable than the bigger one. Now, this one's perfectly fine. You know, this may work a little better in the inside the waistband, but I prefer this one. <clears throat> uh, it comes with this system like on Vero's fixed blades. 
Uh, this is what Best Tech has to offer. It's not bad. I've carried uh, several fixed blades like this. It just kind of pulls it off your body. So if you're wearing it on the belt, this is a pretty cool little system. What's cool about it is you just loosen the screw and you can carry it vertically. You can cant it <laughs> like, uh, like that. Or you can go all the way and scout carry if you want. And you can, <laughs> sometimes, you, well, I don't know if you can move it. I don't know if it'll fit there. But I'm, I'm not really worried about that because I've been enjoying the static line. And I I've been really, really enjoying the ulti clips for this. So I'm going to do a video on the different ways I carry my fixed blades pretty soon. But I love how they did that push-off ramp. These nice thick Kydex. It's got a nice positive click to it. Absolutely no rattle. <laughs> Let me move this. It's another reason why I don't really love it in vertical. I mean, it, you can grab it, but you kind of grab it with these fingers and then push off. But whenever, you know, you have it horizontal, it, it's a smaller fixed blade. It's easier to conceal if you wanted to. But there's another big upgrade on here that I'm super, super excited about. Can you see the difference? So this one has a nice stone wash finish. Let's, let's take this out. Now, I like the way this looks, but functionality for me um, trumps a look. But I absolutely, absolutely love this stone wash. Beautiful. You still have that blasted right in there just so you can see the Griffin Co. Let's see. Same beautiful jimping. Now, this one might be a little bit more grippy just because of that blasting. But still that same jipping, it works fine. I, could, I don't really care about jipping, so it's not something that, you know, <coughs> I really care about. Definitely love the uh, stone wash finish. <coughs> still got the blade still marking right here at 35. And I'll tell you what, it, the, the steel has held up good. Best Tech does a great job of the heat treat. They're uh, one of the companies that I never really have to worry about anymore. I know they can do a solid job. Uh, you got my card options. You can see you have black here, natural here. Um, there's also going to be, pretty sure he said a titanium option because there was before. And maybe like a brass and bronze or something like that. Don't quote me on that, but I know the my card option, black and natural. And I'm pretty sure he's going with a titanium as well. Now, this is a great one because you can get all the way to that tip to do some fine detail work. You know, if you want to puncture something and you don't want to go past your tip, I mean, past your finger, you just put your finger up there as a guide. Beautiful sharpening toil. This thing's fairly lightweight. It's very easy to carry. <laughs> My medium-sized hands, these two fingers fit perfect right there, and this these two fit perfect right there. Now, if you had large, extra-large hands, uh, your, your pinky may be here, but it's still comfortable. And you can always slap a combat beads lanyard, I mean, uh, bead on there with a little lanyard and have something to hold on to. So super excited. I'll do a, I'm going to do a full review after Blade Show on this. I'm going to be carrying this and the, the next one you're going to see, I'll be carrying both of my Blade Show. So if you happen to bump into me and you want to see these in person, just ask me. Um, I should have them on me every day. Um, if not, uh, it, it'll de definitely have it on me probably the first day. It just depends on my rotation. But super excited to test this one so y'all can uh, experience it yourselves. And I'm excited about the next one, and I'll tell you why in just a second. Well, let me, before I put this one up, let me give you a quick size reference. <coughs> uh, let's see. We have the Essie Azula. That's probably going to be the best reference I have. Yeah, it's about, it's a little bit longer than the Essie Azula by hair. Not by much. There you go. Hopefully that helps. Whoop, let me bring this up. So, pretty darn similar. You got about the same blade length as the Essie Azula. Not the Azula 2, but just the Essie Azula. And a, it's a little bit longer than the Essie Azula, maybe by a eighth of an inch uh real quick we'll do it here's the artisan sea snake so it's a little bit shorter than the sea snake about the same handle area though but this one is thicker feels fills out the hand nicer all right <laughs> this next one is the first time i'm experiencing this one and 
and here we go it's kind of like a neck carry dropping the pocket carry and here it is right here now this one is even smaller than this one this one's the medic let me back out some this is called the medic now <coughs> The uh, 2.5s will be back in stock late at the end of this week, he said. You know, unless something happens, they should be back in stock on their site later this week. And um, one local dealer that I bought mine from is DLT Trading, and he said they, they will be uh, restocking them also, I'm guessing, at later at the end of this week. So if you want one of these, you definitely gonna want to uh, check the uh, the site. I will link them whenever they are available. So if you want to check back in, I'll try to keep them linked. So here's the little guy. Now this one right here is not gonna be back in stock till late summer, but I'm already loving it. Oh yeah, oh, it's like a little scalpel. So you have the same exact profile just in a tiny form, but it's still, my medium sized hands, I can still get a four finger grip on there. So there you go, there's the size if you go butt to butt. And look, I'll put it on top like that. Little bitty. <coughs> All right, now, he also he put a uh, matching lanyard bead. Man, these are some high quality. That's a micarta, natural micarta bead. And I love the nice leather uh, lanyard he tied on there. Beautiful. Uh, these are also natural micarta to match this one. Now this is the, the original run of these and it's still in the dark blasted, but I'm pretty sure he said that the, the new run of these will be stone washed. If, I, if that's not correct, I will, um, I'll put it in the comments. I'll put it in the comments. If I messed up anything as far as what you know what it what everything is um, I will pin it in the comments yeah this one I'm super excited about I, I I get a lot of use out of those to do small things you know this is <laughs> this little bitty sheath right here would be super easy to put an ulti clip on clip it to your pocket or uh, wear it around your neck as a neck knife which I may do during blade show it's it weighs absolutely nothing and he sent right here they all come with a certificate of authenticity and just uh, uh you know quality everything awesome stickers and this is what i think i'm gonna slap on it because this thing is super super lightweight he threw some of these to try out and these are the titanium scales i'll kind of slap them on top just so you can have an idea oh yeah so that should give it maybe a little bit more heft, but I think that would be perfect. Oh, yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, I, I've, I've been thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying my EDC fixed blades lately. Um, I've been, been able to get out into our nature trail behind our house and have a little fun. <laughs> um, I'm going to start, I'm going to try to start filming some more content for y'all out there. Look at that sticker, man awesome little sticker pout <laughs> i'll probably add some sticks some of their stickers and stuff in um in you know uh upcoming giveaways plan on doing a giveaway whenever i get back from blade show sometime he also put some uh soft loops i love soft loops to carry uh scout car carry or appendix carry on the belt or even inside the waistband so that is exciting i will be doing a full review on the medic too i'm gonna show you what it can handle what what it's good for and uh i'll update y'all from you know blade show as well because i'm sure i'll be sweating a lot we'll see how this holds up with uh my sweaty self i'm gonna put some edci on it i mean i protect all my stuff perfect jumping jumping right there as well so super excited. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I'm getting packed up for Blade Show and 
the next time y'all probably see me, it'll probably be content from there. If there's any place y'all want me to go check out, y'all let me know down in the comments. I'll do my very best to try to get some kind of content at that booth if possible. Y'all got to know there's 900 plus vendors there. It's almost near, it's nearly impossible to see every single table, especially get content because there's people all over the place. But I'll try for you guys and girls. All right, guys and girls, I will see y'all on the next one. Uh, uh.